Okay, this is going to be take two, folks. I just recorded about a 30-minute video. And uh, when I get ready to uh, end the video, it tells me I don't have a memory card in. So now I think I'm recording. <laughs> this is going to be totally different from the original, which, God, I wish I would have recorded because I don't like to have to do things twice because that means it's fake. I hope this doesn't come out fake because I didn't rehearse this the first edition of it was not recorded but i'm going to try again immediately and i want to say thank you to alex conrad i mean this is just not going to be the same it's just not going to be the same because i'm not going to make the same mistakes that i made in the first one dang it alex conrad was going to tell me about trout lines or trout lines man this is it sucks that i fucked up the first one okay he watched my video I'm going to try to bring out the same points that I did, but it's hard to go back for me right right then to, to right now. I mean, my memory is like from here to here, it sucks. But he watched my video where I went fishing down the creek, and uh, I asked why they call trot lines, trout lines. I mean, trot and trout. There are two different spellings. He spells it T-R-O-T, -T, and I think that's the original or correct spelling for it. But a trout is spelled T-R-O-U-T, I believe. Okay, so there's two different things here. But Alex Conrad uh, seems to know a little bit about some catfish and trout lines. He wants to give me some information, and I thought it was good enough to share with y'all. So this video is going to be about catfish and trout lines. Trout lines. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you, Alex uh, Conrad, for watching my videos and giving me this information in your comment. This has got to be one of the best comments and most informative that I've had in the past week or so. And I want to share it with everybody. Trout lines were used many of these. The first comment is kind of screwed up. He says, uh, I mean, the first part of his comment, the first star, he's got a star and he says, trout lines were used may of these on the Mississippi all the time I'm, I'm, I'm sure that trout lines are used on the Mississippi all the time but he might be using a voice recognition telephone or something that you know what I'm saying I don't think he's typing it because it's kind of screwed up he said I'm not sure what they call it why they call it trot but it says I'm not sure what they call it trot but I think he meant I'm not sure why they call it trot um, but I don't know of many freshwater streams, rivers, and lakes in Florida. It is legal for you to run a 25-hook trot line on a regular fishing license. That's called a long line, uh, and I don't believe that you can do that. You can hook a line, you can put one hook on it, and that's probably it. I don't know. I'm not really interested, and uh, it's not something that I think I'll ever do. I like bass. I like catching brim. I'm not really into catching catfish at this point in my life. But if I ever am, I know where to come get my information. He says, so basically, Kevin, you would be able to run a 25-hook trout line on your fishing license. You can only catch rough fish, non-game fish only, catfish, carp, suckers, bullheads, freshwater drum, gar, shad, bowfin, dogfish, and some others, maybe more. Um not interested in catching any of those really at all but i had no idea that shad could be caught on a, on a trout line ain't shad like i mean shad are something we use to catch bass with uh i guess they might get bigger but uh i'm not interested in catching those things um he said you can also use game fish no he said you also cannot use game fish for bait Meaning you cannot catch a bass and cut it up for bait on your trout line. Okay. And he says, Kevin, if you're interested in getting started using trout lines to catch a few fish for a fish fry and etc., let me know. My father was a commercial fisherman in Mississippi and I can give you some good tips to be successful. I appreciate that, but I'm not going to be having no fish fry. As I live alone, I only cook three or four fillets at a time and uh, I eat two and then I reheat two for later so I'm not really gonna be having no fish fries and uh, 
No. My boat isn't in the condition to go out every day and set lines and retrieve lines. We'll get into that later on a boat update. I have some motor issues that I'm going to have to take some legal action on, I believe. Um, catfish are some very good eating. You're damn right they are. He says the flatfish cat are the tastiest, but I think that it's because they're of their diet. Most people don't realize that the flathead cat is more likely a game fish. It eats mostly live fresh bait. Channel cats, blues, and bullheads are the catfish that will eat any garbage. He calls them the stinkers. And they're the bottom feeders. Well, we'll see. I don't know about that. I, I, I don't know what I've been eating. I don't know what they got at the buffet. But my favorite catfish that I've had is at, down to the country buffet. And, uh, you know, you can pay nine ninety nine or whatever and get all you want to eat. And then they got this catfish. It's, oh, it's wonderful. Um, now, I've had some farm-raised catfish from the beef people. We won't mention their real name. Uh, but down to the grocery store, you can go to the seafood section and get some catfish fillets. And, man, they were thick. And just they looked wonderful. But when I brought them home, I fried them up. And there was no taste whatsoever. No taste at all. It was like I was eating nothing. <laughs> I, mean, I, I guarantee I put some flavoring on my cornmeal and all that shake and stuff that I put in there and some spices. I still couldn't taste nothing. It's just nothing. It's like I was eating air. Let's go back to the next one. He says, I may even have some 25 hook trot lines laying around I can send you. I don't need them, brother. I can't. I'm not going to use them. I'm not going to be able to do it. Uh... I'm running on electric power. That's it. The, the the boat motor runs. It runs perfect. It's a wonderful boat motor. It runs great. But I found something wrong with it that makes me not want to start it ever again. You'll see that in the next video. Or maybe not the next one, but in future videos. I will not start that engine again. Um... Running a trout line is a lot of fun. Set it out in the evening and let it run overnight the next day. Yep, 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 yep. Take my mom. No, nope, not going to take my mom. She, <laughs> No, she ain't going. Trust me, she ain't going to go. Getting her in and out of the car when I have to take her shopping or something is, is hard enough. But to get her in and out of that boat, mm -mm, no, she ain't going. And I ain't going to have to deal with that. Um, use cut up fish, freshwater mussels, clams, shrimp, and you will only catch catfish mostly. If you use worms, then you'll catch the other fish. Yeah, I'm only interested really in the other fish. I mean, you know, sometimes in the future I may want to catch some catfish, uh, but at this point, I'm really interested in the bass and the hard fighting fish, the, the, the hard fighting fish. A catfish doesn't really fight as hard unless you catch a big one size for size and pound. I think the uh, bass and the bluegill have more fight in them for the smaller rods that are. I mean, I like to use, as you've noticed, the uh, mini mite and the, the, the ultralight type fishing. And I have to like to, I like to use my drag and work it. Okay, I like to work it. I like to work that damn fish to catch them. I don't want to just reel something in and uh, catch them like that. He says, but catfish is a fine eating fish. You're damn right about that. I know it is. Give me some hot sauce. Cleaned up and prepared right. Once you have someone prepare correctly, you can't eat enough. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, Alex Conrad, John, thank you so much for your comment. I really appreciate all the information that you've given us on catfish. And uh, that was really good information, man. I mean, that's, that's awesome. You've let me know everything I need to know pretty much about catfish. So when I ever do decide to catch any, um, I know what to do. But for now, as I'm just an eater of catfish, I'll stick with the buffet. <laughs> yeah, and I'll make sure I go to a fine buffet where it's actually good catfish. Uh, most of them are probably giving you farm-raised, but 
it tastes a lot better than what I bought from the doggone beef people, I'll tell you what. Hey, Jeremy Rich, if he can watch this video and put a comment down below, he's an expert on catfish. What are your thoughts on some of the things that we've said? Chime in, brother. And thanks for watching, everybody. And Jeremy Conrad, I mean, Jeremy Conrad, look at where I'm at. Conrad Axel, Axel Conrad, Alex Conrad. I appreciate you watching, brother. Thanks. Turn this damn camera off now.